Dream. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we just had to take Alfredo out. He was eating something there, so we just had to deal with that. Uh, welcome back to Red Bar here. I'm in a lot of pain. My new uh, shredder tattoo, of course. Some sort of blood infection. I feel, yeah, I'm di- I, something's definitely going through the system. I feel very wrong here. Should we smoke some shmi? Yeah, let's, um, maybe that would help here. Because, yeah, I am, so we had it looked at. They said there is a, a very small blood infection <laughs> that I'm on a bunch of antibiotics from this because we had a really unskilled artist do this very late and it was very dark we actually did this in my car while we were hiding out from sam tripoli up there on mount lemon i'm gonna smoke this one i had from last week it still exists and i'm gonna use this brand new zippo lighter from that was sent in as a gift cut to that close up there and usually when someone sends a lighter as a gift i like to use it for a few shows to show my appreciation hopefully this one Still has some gas. I've been noticing. I fill these things up full till they're overflowing, and then they dry out. Look at that. We can't use his lighter there. Okay. Maybe you forgot to fill that one. Nope. It was filled. We're going to use this one. Live with Shoal. Okay, put on some... uh, Here, we'll do a Red Bar song, because I got a bunch of these Red Bar songs, and then we'll smoke some Shmi and get into this Bobby Lee. This is a big one, and we were so excited. We thought for sure... Everyone was going to be covering this one. You know, every time we wake up to do the show, we look, oh, too lazy. Two tries, got all our bits. But not today. Uh, Everybody missed this one. That's why Red Bar is very important. They were blinded by their hatred. For Bobby, because people, you know, they think they hate these women the most. They think they hate Bobby. But what they really hate is Santino. And we're going to prove that to you. Let's do this one. This is, uh, did we do this one? Jackson Davis prying times. And we'll smoke weed to this. Here it is. Jackson Davis. They gotta tell you about it. We're prying real, times. Like, Let's light up. DMT experience. I don't know what this is about. It's very hard to actually remember what happened in your dream unless you're like a, a novelist. I just know that my host is so gifted. Yep. Every episode is so damn different. I like that. He could do it better than you ever tried. I don't understand how you still have the confidence to lie. It's all a lie. Prove it. It's about Red Bar. Prove this in a lie or I'll see you in court. Where do you have all this confidence to lie? Try this shit, bro. I have two options. Work out and learn jujitsu. Work at ease. Red Bar watching. Red Bar. It's not stopping. I don't understand why the fuck you are talking. I'm just this is like some XXX Estancion stuff, right? Walking. Now I'm about to hit it up and shoot it up from me. Red Bar's watching. And every episode is so damn different. I know that my I like that. Every Is this true? Every episode is so damn different? <laughs> I've never heard that. I've never heard that. How do you still have the confidence to lie? 21 Savage. We in the back and we sent a couple spies. If you Let's come the close bar. in, I'm hitting you in between the eyes. Is shy. Every episode is so damn different. I know that my host is so damn gifted. Every That's uh, Jackson Davis. It's called Prying Times. Loved it. Thank you. Uh, for Juice World. A juice world, yeah, not XXX is gone. Somebody sent me an email, said I'm going to end up like XXX Extension because of my darkness. That's right. I get in a lot of death threats lately, too, that we're working on here with Reddit. Uh, not our Reddit, the H3 Snark, of course. <laughs> okay, so it's time. It's time for Bobby Lee. Let's do this now. And this is from Bad Friends. We haven't covered Bad Friends in a while. In fact, it inspired me to go out and buy a Bad Friends t-shirt, which should be here for the next episode. We'll throw Bad Friends up on Cheap Champions. Yes. And we'll see what uh, what their shirts are like. Huh? Okay. Um, is this the next up here? Okay, here it is. Bad Friends. Bobby, Bobby, and Andrew. And you'll recognize this Bobby <laughs> when it comes up. Now, is she in the cold open here or? Let's just play it from no, the very... That's just their dates and stuff. The very beginning okay. is 120. The very begin- beginning is uh, 0120. 
Okay, here we go. Bad friend. Bad friends. Her attitude's already stinky. She's a stinky attitude already, dude. You're telling me she stinks already? Put the mic as close to I don't her think mouth. She phys- probably- I think she physically smells good, but <clears throat> I think her attitude is stinky. Let's, what do you think the... So they're already you, necking, you and you'll show, they'll show her in a sec. <laughs> don't, hand it to her nice, dude. That's a celebrity, dude. Jesus. Is she? Wow. Yeah, she is. Oh, whoa, dude. I don't have to wear these. You don't have to. No, but if Why you don't, don't show do that, her? your own Don't that. Sound. Don't do that. You don't, don't want to do, fuck don't up do your the, hair. Don't, it's fine. Don't yeah. do that here. Then throw it down, or just put it wherever. Oh, that's it. it. Okay. <laughs> there. Wow. That, I mean, really, you're going to show her for a millisecond? There she is. Bobby. You guys remember her from the Drake interview. Okay, so she's on the set of Bad Friends and a couple things already. You got the two bad friends sitting at these double desks on the other side of the room, and it's not a good environment for guests. I mean, did you see where the guest? Let's see if we could. Now, the guest is on the other side of the room. So imagine you're uh, sitting in this small, inflatable, might I add, chair. I mean, have you ever sat in inflatable furniture? I did this when I was 15 at Spencer's Gifts, and it was, too, oh, my back, my back. I mean, I was like a 90-year-old man trying to get in and out of this when I was 15. Uh, I had the opportunity to steal an inflatable chair from Spencer Gifts while I worked <laughs> there when I was 15. I declined. I said, inflatable furniture, even when I was 10, even when I weighed 90 kilograms. I don't know how much is that. I used to weigh 90 pounds up until I was 26. (laughs) And even a 90-pound me wouldn't sit in this chair. So you got the guest on Bad Friends. Imagine this. It's like being in court. So you've got Santino and Bobby Lee about 15 feet away from you, up in these very high, off-putting tables. And then you're sitting against the wall all the way in the back in inflatable furniture. And this is just a little girl. I mean, she can't be any older than 11 years old, right? You might have seen Too Lazy Two Tries video about David Spade yeah. being their guest, and he didn't want to sit in the inflatable chair. Now, he speaking of disgusting. inflatables, did she get a reduction of sorts down here? Because she used to have, it, not in a good way, in a really grotesque way. I think I mentioned this when we first introduced you to her during that Drake interview, remember? It looks like there's been some reduction here, or maybe just the milkings have slowed down she used to do this big milk bit with her children now there's a lot of interesting stuff about this bobby not only was bobby lee and santino both on her show what is it called the really good podcast we don't like saying that name the really good podcast sounds like something even glassman is above that right (laughs) but she's had bobby lee and Andrew Santino, both on her show. You know, I think when Bobby Lee was on, they played tennis was the goof. And they did the fake anti-comedy interview with no improv training. And then when Santino was on, they did a golf. They were on the golf course doing the fake interview. And nobody has played with her. If I, to steal one of Glassman's (laughs) words, playing, that means riffing, doing improv. Isn't that disgusting, by the way? Rick Shmiju Glassman, one of the most Jewish people I've ever met, by the way. You know, you should be able to do a class. I'm actually, uh, oh yeah, I'm going to announce this today. I'm officially, and we're going to do this on the show, converting to Christianity. Yep. I cannot be a part of this stuff anymore. I mean, they've slandered. It's either I convert to Christianity, which I'm very serious about because i got to get these guys off my back. And it's either I do that or I do a class action lawsuit against every Jew that you've ever known for basically making the rest of my life. How, what is the quality of the rest of my life going to look like now when we're basically living this close from another Holocaust? And then you look around and you go, well, they've kind of run out of examples of Jews to defend this religion or group of people anymore. You know? Who name any Jew? And then you go, huh? So the class action lawsuit won't work. The courts, they would throw that out. They would call that a monkey courtroom and they'd throw that out. And by the way, that wouldn't change the fact that the next 50, 60, 70 years of my life coming up are going to all be this 
Oh my God, let's go harass and kill the. I mean, really, this. It's getting dark. We're only a few months away from them going fully. That's enough. Because <laughs> Hitler's not even known as a bad guy anymore. He's already He's more like a friend to me. You know how like everybody point. like ten years ago, Tucker Carlson was known as a bad guy to everyone, and now Tony Hinchcliffe, Joe Rogan, they go one of my favorite fucking people in the world, Tucker Carlson. <laughs> Joe Rogan. Oh, he's the best. You know, Joe Rogan talked about Tucker Carlson, says he's the most honest, greatest guy. <laughs> so. They're going to eventually do this with this Adolf. And then there's going to be no Holocaust protections. There's going to be nobody to protect you. And it's going to be open season. So I'm converting. We're going to do this he live on the show. Like, oh, if we get in trouble for anything, you yeah. can be like, oh, I'm a Jew. I'm a Jew. They're doing this. They're exactly. It was a nice People place to be. People me because of yeah. my religion, my race. But yeah. now that's not even viable yeah. anymore. Well, I don't, you know, celebrate or support the kooky religion anyway, so I will not be sad to see it go. And then I know there's people out there going, Mike, doesn't it's not about just the religion. You have Jew blood, <laughs> and that's what we hate. It's not that you do a Jew religion. It's you were born into that religion, so whatever's coursing through your veins is disgusting. So maybe you should convert- wait, wait. I have already looked through all this. I already know what everybody's going to say. I've been doing this for many years. And not that any Christians are even against me, but if they were, I'm covering all the bases. So I'm going to have a fully religious ceremony where I hire like a bishop of sorts to come in and do it. So it's more legit than any of these ceremonies usually are. I called a doctor. You can get your blood spun out and replaced with Christian blood. And I'm fully doing that. I have a place we found. This is where I get my IV dripped. They do blood spitting. And they'll put new blood in you. They'll take out so you two bags. And you sit in the middle. You got a needle in this arm and a needle in this arm. You're sitting here. And it's taking your blood out on this side, and it's feeding you new blood until that's recycled. We're doing this with Christian blood, which I will need from a listener, of course, uh, 12, 15 gallons of Christian blood. And then I'm going to be fully Christian. I'm changing my name to uh, Davidson. Mike Davidson. Wait, is that still sounds very Jewish? What could my new Christian name? And this is going to be Christian's the best way to go because that's what, what you've all Islam? decided what is ab- the kings, right? And then once I'm Christian, what do you got on me? Pretty much nothing because Christians to you are the top of the, right? Christians are the best. Why don't you convert to Islam like Tate? That's disgusting. Why? And, oh, the un- uh, the uh, yeah, nine eleven bombers ring a bell to you. Uh, it's just insane. Yeah, I changed my name to the Taliban. Yeah, that's will get me more fans. Are you kidding me? I'm going to be Christian. The top, the best. You've all agreed. They're the best. I'm getting blue contacts. That, I want to see I'm getting a you. full hair removal so I can be just like the Christians. <laughs> fully bald. We're going to do a dumbening. Got to do a dumbening where they take out a piece of my brain so I could be more like Jimmy from... Uh, uh, love is blind. Isn't that a, that he's Christian? He doesn't get any hate online for his race, but I do. So I'm sick of it, and we're converting, and then I'm fully against Jews even starting right now. So get out of my sight. Get out of my life. And if you're Jewish listening to the show, get, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we're sick to death of what you've done. And you're not gonna, I'm not letting the rest of my life go to hell. Thank you. All right, here's this uh, Bobby. You're going to see something here, and we did catch Bobby Lee, uh, and I've never seen Bobby act like this. Is he a sex guy? Do people know this about Now, I know, I think he used to be. That's why I was telling all these stories. Oh, I'm going to Tijuana making girls cry. These under- he, I think he used to be a sex guy. A lot of comics are sex guys. They love the, because you, it's very easy to be a sex guy. When you're a comic, really, realistically, you do a comedy show as Bobby Lee, there's minimum six girls there that you could have sex with that night. I've done this many times. Every live event I've had, I've six to seven, doesn't matter, boyfriend, girlfriend. 
doesn't matter if they're married. There's it's they come. It's like uh, they give you every entertainer, even Melton. He's getting laid on these. That's why he's doing Hackamania. Oh. Make sure to go to Hackamania. We're going to promote this whole thing coming up. Okay. But even Melton, so even excited. Josh Denny, this is the reason because there's just something about it. It's very easy way to to get uh, girls to have sex with you. So maybe Bobby Lee is this sex guy. Is he a hound? Santino's a sex guy. We know this. Every week I hear, oh, Santino running out on his old lady. He running out on his way. I'm getting lots of messages like that, you know. And uh, so, yeah, and Crystalia, I mean, wasn't that their old buddy? Brian Callen, don't they all roll in this? I mean, it, it, they work on the Sunset Strip, you, you know, and they should have figured out a way to roll with this better. They got so scared when everybody was going down for Me Too's. They didn't figure out a way to be like, yeah, Me Too's are bad, but still, we should all be able to, we're having sex on the Sunset Strip, and we want blowjobs in the bathroom still by younger comics. That should have all still been worked out into a deal, but they fucked that up. And now they have to pretend that they're not sex guys. So you got Chris D'Elia, Andrew Santino, and Bobby Lee walking around like this. <laughs> because they need to be... This got in, they spent 50, 20 years becoming the sex guys. They, they got to have sex with six or seven women after each show. And it, they have to have all sorts of sneaky things going on and all sorts of hotel room horrors. Laura. And now that's been taken away from him. But it, 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 apparently you're going to see this kind of seeps out in different ways when they're put into these situations with women. I mean, you got this girl here. I mean, what would you guys rate her on the uh, uh, scale of one to ten? You know, I'm giving her I can't tell you what I'm going to give her, but it's high up there on that scale. Bobby Lee is obsessed with her. And I think Santino is too. You're going to see Santino, you know, there's a name for the move Santino is going to do. And I'm familiar with bad friends. I know they goof around, you know, they're bad friends, right? So the idea is, uh, well, they kind of hate each other, right? They're always roasting each other. And most of it is a fake, false, phony. I mean, basically when you're watching bad friends, usually it's a nonsense, make-believe hour. It's Sesame Street. People go, but Mike isn't on... No, On Cinema is 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 a, a scripted show. And On Cinema doesn't make these foolish... doesn't play these foolish adolescent improv games like you see on Bad Friends. Bad Friends is an hour of some of the most amateur, embarrassing improv that we've ever seen, you know, and I think it fools a lot of people. They any Anytime they see Santino and Bobby Lee going at it, they'll send me, oh, Mike, you got to see bad friends. They're really going after each other. And then I tune in. I go, oh, that's part of their fake nonsense playtime stuff that they do. You're going to see that today. But you're going to see Santino put a little seasoning on it, this alpha seasoning, as they all take out their claws to... Show dominance to fight over this Bobby Atlas. Yeah, you can see this. This gets sick. We're standing up for Bobby here. I can't believe it. You know, when I first introduced her, I might have said something about the way that I think she smells downtown. I take that all back. And I watch the internet now. They've all kind of turned on Bobby. Everywhere this Bobby girl version Bobby goes, this one. They've turned on her, and these bad friends' comments are no different. Everybody is hating on her for this episode. We're here to to kind of defend Bobby and show you that, no, the show wasn't bad because of her. It was bad because of them, Santino and Lee, who we're, we'll be calling Lee today, uh, just to, with the Bobby confusion, okay? So... Uh, this is a, a vocal ease voice spray. It's helping my voice to sound nicer in the microphone. Okay, uh, what's our first time code? Right at the beginning. So let's see how this plays out. Or no, we already did that, right? We'll go back. Oh, one, twenty. Our first time code. Here it is. Get it. Oh, boy. 
I'm so sorry about this. Here we go. Let's try this one more time. Her attitude's already stinky. She has a stinky attitude already, dude. Uh-oh. You're telling me she stinks already? Put the mic as close to I don't her think mouth. She phys- I probably- think she physically smells good, but <clears throat> I think her attitude is stinky. Okay, so there's the first. If we had a counter here, do I have, <laughs> I have this? Well, this is kind of hack, but we could do it. <laughs> so we got one. You want to write these down? So we got one on the board. So Bobby already says, and this is nothing had I not seen what comes later. But here you go, right at the beginning. They're kind of nagging. Does she smell bad? And Bobby says, I think she might smell good. I think she, I think she physically smells good, but I think her attitude is stinky. Let's, what do you think the... Let's just see how you, this goes for a little bit, and then we'll show you what we found. <laughs> Don't Hand it to her nice, dude. That's a celebrity, dude. Jesus. Is she? Wow. Yeah, she is. Oh, whoa, dude. Do you have to wear these? You don't have to. No, but it helps don't do you that. hear your own. But this is the don't opening of their don't show. The it's fine. Don't yeah. do that here. Then throw it down or just put it where I, I just, This is a tough show to watch for many reasons. You know, we never sit through these bad friends. This is about the first episode of Bad Friends I think we've seen this much of. They've got a contrast thing. You ever try to watch Bad Friends on a brand new TV and LED OLED TV. If you're watching Bad Friends on OLED, get ready for the darkness. Their blacks are as black as it gets. The abyss. So much so that their eyes almost turn into these black OLED, endless black. So imagine if my eyes were just too full black. A lot of contrasts going on. Bad Friends. You know, release the contrast. Let's go back this way. Okay, but I wanted to show you the beginning so you could see kind of just how they're acting and get a vibe for what's to come today. Trevor. Just hold it. <laughs> Please hold it. Thank you. Yeah. I love these um, slacks. The buttons on the side are cool. Is this... um Fashion? What grandma's couch is this made out of? Yeah. I was waiting for that. That's nagging. And Santino, you dress like shit, bro. I mean, there's not a worse dresser on the planet than Santino. Not a worse comic. Have you seen Cheeseburger? Go see Cheeseburger. Tell me he's a good comedian. Uh, so Santino's nagging her, and Bobby's going to kind of join in, too. And you're going to see the staff even tries to get a bite here as they, you know, I don't know what, in the animal she's kingdom. She's surrounded, let's she's just She's surrounded. Say. Believe me, there are lots of uh, animal kingdom type equivalencies that you're going to see here today honestly pretty sick and i can't believe nobody's covered this well they i got you pants by the way i got you a gift where do you find where those they you don't buy those them. where do you find them i got you a gift for real because i know you like fashion oh i got gifts no you don't dude. I have a ring so non-thoughtful that's a ring that a, that a fan gave you but you like korean okay. korean what <laughs> korean rings <laughs> what is that? It's uh, from the that's ring is it from the from Korean, the war, Korean War. Korean War. Okay. Yeah. You so, know we had a war, right? This is fun. I got you <laughs> got, um, I got you pants. Yeah. Okay. I got you pants. Yeah. Um You did? Yeah, I got you never got they got no plan here. Not like this red bar. They got no plan. They're kind of just riffing and the riffing. I don't want to you know, uh kill you with it, but it goes on and it gets amateur, right? I mean, these guys are trying to riff and Halfway into this, it kind of just becomes uh, a show where Bobby and Andrew are just doing an improv show for everyone else in the studio. And this girl, Bobby, is sitting there like this while she has to watch these two guys perform for her. You know, they forget to uh, interview her or talk to her at all. And they just do this uh, very cringe, very amateur uh, improv game with each other. And they're kind of doing it, though out of nervousness you know kind of like two guys at a bar and they you know two single guys go out to a bar they see a girl they kind of both like her so they're kind of putting each other down right now i know and this is why i brought up i know that bad friends that's kind of the thing that they do is a bit so this is where you got to read in between those terrible bits and you'll see it come to life you'll see that little sprinkle of andrew's alpha jealousy on top of the fake bit. You know, that's what we're here to break down. You'll see Bobby, the true Bobby, peek through those clouds <laughs> of play to, uh, you know, showing his true things. So imagine, girl at a bar, she's not interested in either of these. By the way, 55-year-old, how old is Bobby Lee? 
Because this is very important. 50. You know, people think Bobby Lee is a 27-year-old little gee gee 52. 52. That is <laughs> too old. And how old is Bobby Allah? 26. 26. So that's too old. 52, 26. That's too old. To be full. Well, we'll see. How old is Andrew Santino? He's, 40. He's only 40. Yeah. You're saying Santino is younger than me. That's crazy. But how was he... But he was an old man in MTV's Punk, and when that aired, I was like twelve so years old. He looked like he was like forty six when he was. This has been like happening 19. to me a lot. I think something goofy has happened <laughs> with the paperwork. Are you sure you know how old you really are? I don't because it, it, this ha- is happening with all these bands. I used to see all these bands when I was fifteen, fourteen. Okay, and those guys then were at least twenty one. Okay, and now every band that I liked back then that I saw live, I'm older than somehow. Now, when I look at the paper, uh, Fat Mike from No Effects is only 39. No way. Yeah, so how was I seeing him when I was 15? That would have made him 12, <laughs> you know, or something. I mean, I don't even know. But you, you, that's the point I'm trying to make. Something fishies happened with my age. And we'll get to the bottom of What's it, too. What's your age again? Am I right? Okay. <laughs> and yes, I did get a shredder. This is from uh, H3 Podcast, Ethan's Dog Shredder. If you're tuning in late. It's a neck tattoo of Ethan Klein's dog that died. Shredder was the name of the dog. It didn't die in a shredder. Although I wish it did. Uh, Our first time code, 920, 920. right? Oh, 920. How many times have we hit the bell? They're just one. We're just going to, we're going to be fair. We're not going to be strict. One time for Bobby's advances so far. Remember, they're fighting over a girl at a bar. How many strokes do we have there for Bobby? Just one, one of these? One of those. Just one. Okay. Let's make some room here so I don't. Pull a steel toe. So there's Bobby and Jeff. Obviously, she's making very sexual faces at them the whole time, kind of feeding into their horniness, right? Um, she's making all these sexual advances by, you know, rubbing her arm and all this stuff. So you can't <laughs> blame them, the bad friends, for getting a little wet downstairs, right? Makes perfect sense. All right, let's see what happens next. The clip that did that. So for six months, then you're like, okay, I'm going to do Tyga. And then for six months, you were gone? Yeah. In that six months, you didn't think of me? No, I did. But you were like, probably not. I actually thought you were really mean, and I wasn't looking forward to meeting you. But Rick Glassman assured me that you were nice in real life. There's a guy you should always listen to. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! What do you, what's your opinion now? Uh, not much has changed. I don't know. So You scare me a little. Wow. Wow. Well, what was your okay, pre- so this could be a bit this could be a joke these were all joke people right uh you scare me a little she says to bobby lee i think she's sensing this bobby and remember 52 year old man imagine you're a 26 year old girl and a 52 uh three 52 year old men are fighting over i you. mean everyone's like ha 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 bobby lee bobby lee don't you think it would be pretty scary to be alone in a room with him wouldn't it be <laughs> scary now you gotta uh, you imagine yourself you really gotta take happen. yourself you know, if you're a guy in the room, just imagine like a 90-year-old giant trying to hit on you. That's how scary it would be to Bobby. She's 26. Now, I haven't shown you anything that looks too out of line here, but I will. Okay? By, the, by the end of this, you know, so what did he do in Tijuana? That's what we're trying to get to to the bottom of that today. Let's go to 1120. Here we go. And this one's going to be... Okay, two guys fighting over a girl at a bar. Let's see what they do. After you met him, is your opinion stronger about him than my, your opinion about me after that we met? Is the love you have for me more than the hate you out, have for Bobby? I don't think that came out. Smooth. I just that said, came out weird. Um, that came out weird. Is that how he, is that how you meant it? Is the love for me bigger than the hate for Bobby? That's how I meant it. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's like a tie. Good. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's good. Where'd you go? Huh? To get that. Creation? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, go, go, 
What are you plugging creation? What the <laughs> fuck is going on with you today? <laughs> what is going on with you? Dude, even if you saying this right now, you would never ask what's going on with me. So remember, it is a bit too, but there's a lot of stuff on top of this very low effort bit that they're doing. So you got to read in between those gags. With you, dude. Even if you saying this right now, you would never ask what's going on with me. <laughs> I don't like it. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you're doing right now, stop it. See, I had a bad. See, and I could tell. See, Bobby's kind of pushing me. Whatever you're doing right now, stop it, because this isn't how you would normally be at this particular moment. Sounds like something's you're doing something a little extra, maybe to to show off in front of Bobby. Maybe you know, since since you know, is trying to. Be a little braggy. And we were going to cover this last week, but we didn't get to it. But on their last episode, they had John Cena mm. and Zac Efron as a Did guest. Did you see that episode? The John Cena, Zac Efron. That was brilliant. I mean, that was wild. <laughs> and Bobby was like acting so nervous and crazy. And Santino was trying to be so cool. Yeah, because those are Santino's Hollywood friends, friends from Sticky Renicky, the movie that they did. That movie, by the way, another 14 percenter that Ricky Stanicki. So Santino had his, you know, so ca thinks... castmates uh, with Bobby. And there was some tension there, too. So this is two shows in a row where Bobby and Santino are both, you know, trying to put on a little experience for the guest. And it doesn't seem to be working. But you're going to see Bobby takes this a little further today. Let's just hear a bit more of this code. Bet. You're trying to brag in front of her or something. Well, I'm not. Yeah, you're changing your thing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like. <laughs> see? <laughs> Ow. That hurt. Is this normally how your podcast goes? Yes. yes. You talk to each other while your guest watches. Oh, do you want to? That's a burn. Yeah, that's not that's a share podcasts. Yeah, let's not do this. Because, because yours. Yeah, there we go. Um, your little girls. You're a little you're, girl. Your two kids. Oh no, I mean, not. <laughs> so there they go. And yeah, I think they're acting inappropriate. To me, this is already rape culture. Sorry, <laughs> that's how strict I am. Two guys acting like this, I could smell. I could smell the ideas that they've got cooking up in their head of what they want to do to this little girl. Okay, so to me, yeah, this is already that. Stuff Hannah Gatsby is trying to warn you about. Let's go to our next one. Is that 12.55? Oh. Let's do it. And let's see here. Okay, so this is where it really becomes clear, and this is where my eyes opened up. We introduced you to a, and I hate that we introduced you to this, a real sick, usually I love art, all forms of art. Here's an art form I cannot get behind. Let's make sure this isn't it. Lolly. Lolly. Yeah. <laughs> Or also known as regular anime, also known as Japanese animation. I'll go as far as to say most animation is on the lolly side. That's how they drew me. And, uh, you know, that Ninja Turtles cartoon, you had April O'Neil's. Go back and see the size of those. On the Smurfs, you always had a beautiful girl roping you in. So, yeah, animation. What's animation? It's Lolly. He's going to bring up a very a, a signifier, a notifier to a guy like me where I go, oh, okay, it's making sense. Does Bobby leave? Yeah, and maybe people could fill me in on this because you watch his show. You watch Tiger Belly. You know a thing or two about Bobby. Does Bobby watch? Is he an anime fan? I mean, Because when a guy, be. when an older guy, when a guy who's 52 is into anime, that means to me... Oh, you're into lolly. Okay, that's it's it's all the same. Hentai, lolly, Japanese animation, Japanimation, which I think we should be calling it all. Here's should be the umbrella phrase for all this smut. Japanimation. That's what we used to call it. Anime. So you get you got the anime, hentai, Japanimation, Japanese animation, lolly. It's under the same umbrella to a guy like me. Now, it's up to you what you're going to do with your future. Uh, you're involved. Oh, but Mike, there's this one anime. There isn't. You know, let me review the tape. I guarantee I could show you about seven or eight frames where it's like, oh, here's why you like it. I see. <laughs> is Bobby Lee into They're this type of that stuff? Your shirt is lolly. So what do you have to say about that? I got the, this is from a lolly artist, but. <laughs> 
Yeah. As a lolly artist, I do understand that this is from a lolly artist, but this is not technically lolly as Ice Spice is 21. <laughs> um, okay, so is Bobby into this lolly? Let's hope not. Let's see what happens here. Guys. Who's it all, dude? Bobby. Yes. Watch Put your this. phone down right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you know what's so funny? With what you? is your question? Listen, no, I have a question. Yeah. There's a question. With your little ear sticking out like that, you know, you look like a wood elf. With your little ear sticking out like that, you look like a little wood elf. I don't know about you guys, and I don't know what a wood elf is yet while I'm watching this. We're going to find out. I don't know about you guys, but if someone looks like an elf... That means you want to have sex with them. A girl elf. Think about a girl elf that isn't if the you're perfect describing match. describing something as little. Look at your little ear sticking out of your hair. You remind me of a wood elf. And then they're going to talk more about what a wood elf is. It isn't, it's, boom, perfectly clear. You could put that down as two. Okay. This becomes perfectly clear. Oh, here's the wood elf. That this is a lolly Japanese animation fantasy, adult fantasy gamers paradise or whatever that place is called. This is adult chess sets. This is statues. This is all that crap that Boogie collects. Boogie 029. Listen to this. Delusional, dude. Bobby. Yes. Put your phone down right now. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what's so funny? What is your question? I have a question. Yeah. With your little ear sticking out like that, you look like a wood elf. Thank you. Like from the movies. You're going to look up what that is? Yeah, yeah. Well, cool. we're going to show it to really she, like I think she's into all this getting hit on. I she don't doesn't know. I think want she it. is scared of them. Well, yeah, yeah, she's scared of them, but she also gets, she blushes, I think, every time they do this. But because she also, that run? makes her sick to her stomach. Yeah, she also wants to report them. I ain't going to do the, she won't open her mouth. She won't throw these guys under the bus, but you'll see. She, she basically was under duress coming up and i'm the only buddy opening up her mouth for her uh, to defend this okay now they're pulling up wood elves to see and wait to see what these wood elves look like like from the movies it's so basically a porn you're gonna look up what that is yeah yeah well cool. we're gonna show it you to really the, look like a wood elf right show it to, to the me. fans there that's a nice look what would okay, her and then he pulls up a clear cut case lolly <laughs> so here it is uh, animated woman this could be a ice porn this could be uh, deep fake. I mean, this is the type of stuff when you see it's not an actual human being. It's a drawing of a sexualized woman. And look in here. I mean, this is about as hot as it, as it gets. You can see That's the outline. That's a short stack goblin. Well, okay. I'm just saying this collection of stuff. This is all, yeah, the universe of... This is what adults do when they try to get in the way with watching daily porn in front of their wives. They pretend, oh, this is just this art form anime. No, 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 no. So, yeah, she looks like uh, the most beautiful elf to you. Okay. Well, we're gonna show you it really the, look like a wood elf right now to me. the fans there. It's That's a nice look. It's what would nice her wood look. elf name be? Huh? What would her name be? Look, there we go. That's she, her. Thank you. Bingalow. Bingalow. Stevens. Bingalow Stevens. Yeah, yeah. I do two more. I just think. <laughs> Your wood elf's name is Bingalow Stevens. Thank you. And you live in the deep forest. See, this is a sex fan. Yeah. It's deep forest in crap. In that mythological world, what do you think I would be? Oh, if we were in this mythological, fan, fanatical world of pleasure, what would I be? Because he wants to know, because he knows what wood elves get with, probably. So he wants to know, am I going to be one of the characters that gets these types of girls, or am I going to be the goblin? <laughs> and maybe, depending on her answer, I'll see if I can move a little further t with my advances here. He's kind of flirting with her here, trying to, t to get some info. A troll. That's a little troll. I'm a little troll or a big troll? Big troll. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. Big troll. Fuck you, dude. I have to ask. I want to know. This is a question because I think about this a lot. My buddy has gonna be. three girls. You can go when to the... uh, 1725. 1725, it continues. San here. Santino's about to go. Well, isn't it weird if a kid calls his dad daddy? Oh, okay. And, and that's this part? <laughs> oh, no, that's the part oh, we no, skipped no, no. over. But it's interesting, it's like, yeah. Okay. But that was interesting to me. Oh, well, do you want to go back? Um, 
No, that's it's okay. fine. There's a lot. Okay, 1725. Hear. Yeah. Okay. There's going to be another uh, flirtatious advance here from Bobby. Okay, let's. Ours. If you want to go, I, I don't want to keep you here if you don't yeah, feel like yeah, being yeah. here. If you don't have any more questions. I don't have a million of them. <laughs> Do you I have Bobby a million did. questions. He doesn't want her to go. All right. She's and ready to go. I say, Let her go. This is the first time I've ever seen it, but I think that you're a decent human being, looking human being. I think you're a decent looking human being. Why would you say So this is where, okay, now things are getting weird here, right? And she doesn't like bring up her looks. Never. I mean, she's not a looks her. person. No. And she's like, maybe there's some girls that that's part of their whole thing. Yeah. And no, you discuss this is how not. Hot they are. When Again, they he's 52. She's 26. But she's never mentioned her looks. You just mentioned. You shouldn't be prying. Mom. So listen to this stuff. This is the first time I've ever seen it, but I think that you're a decent human being, looking human being. Decent looking human being? And all of it. I mean, oh. in, the, in the insides as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> were you really saying that? Was it? What were you saying? What? You were saying. I was, you know what? I'll be honest with you. I was like, I don't have any questions. So then I just, you know what I mean? I went with my rhythm. instinct. Right. And it came out weird. You're basic, looking good, good looker. What's on What's on Bobby Altoff's Spotify? Okay, top? got another one there. You can't deny uh, that. Twenty five oh oh. Twenty five oh oh. Let's see what's happening around here. Oh, okay. She's going to talk about some time she had with Bobby. So when, they're discussing their podcasts yeah. that they did together on her channel. Yeah, when Bobby Lee went on her podcast and played tennis with her, she's going to talk about some incidents that happened on that set. That's bad, bad friends. friends. Anyway, wow. you're, oh God, you, I remember you saying that a lot when I was with you. I was disgusted a lot. You didn't say, she didn't say that once. Did she not? Not on ours. Yeah, you, because I, I think I disgusted you. Yeah, many yeah, times. Many times. He did not disgust you. Well, he wasn't like, this counts. toes out. And oh. Like, oh, my toes are disgusting. Taking his shirt off. I didn't take my shirt off. How dare you? Taking your shirt off. He says, I didn't take my shirt off. I'm going to throw that. For using the word shirt around a girl, I mean, <laughs> psycho. But listen to this little story about Bobby Lee taking his shirt off on the very small set of Bobby Altloff's podcast. Oh, uh, my toes are just got there. Taking his shirt off. I didn't take my shirt off. How dare you? I think you did. I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I think I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. There's more. But I apologize for that. But it was hot. We're playing tennis. And you tried to like hug me without your shirt on. You don't hug, right? You don't hug. I hug. No, I know. Your children, but not strangers. No, you don't hug other people. Oh, really? Like He's if getting gave... pretty wild. He probably started, you know, growing this crush back when he did her podcast. Okay, what's our next code? Uh, you could keep it playing for me. Oh, here. keep it playing. Love to hear that. To give, when you say goodbye, when we, you wouldn't give a hug, would you? I would. No, you wouldn't. I do. Would you hug me? I don't hug. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. She doesn't hug. Who in the room would you, would you hug? hug me? Um, I'll throw that on there. So that's Pete on the left. That's uh, who uh, in the room would you hug? So stuff gets pretty twisted here. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that little window. They have a little window in their little office space set where they're crammed against the corner, but they have a little cutout window and there's three heads drooling popping through heads. it. Three little Huey, Dewey and Louie popping in doing the head totem looking through this window at all times and they're all very excited and we're going to learn why here because we got another group of three guys popping their heads through this little window the producer's window and they're craving a little Bobby A as well Lady A Lady A She has to be in this room with five men So five men who are in their 40s and 50s and they're drooling over her and she's 26 She's never been part of this sex culture before. She just got out of a very long relationship with the father of her two disgusting uh, children. <laughs> and now they're all kind of, and it's, you know, 40-year-old, 52-year-old. The guys in the booth could be old. Let's see what happens here. Would you hug? Um, Who would you hug? Who in this room out of all the guys here would that's you like when hug? You're talking to some guy that you barely know, and he's like... How about a hug for me before you go? It's disgusting. <laughs> I mean, imagine, move. guys out there, imagine if some man, a stranger, tried to hug you. Where's my hug? It's really gross with their boners. Listen to this. Mm. 
Yeah. That makes and perfect sense. And he hugged sense. her yeah. shirtless. You guys have all seen Bobby yeah. shirtless. His smooth, sticky yeah. body. He approached her it's and It's no different than a pair of bare, he disgusting Chinese breasts. Her. I mean, his breasts to me are just as gross as a Chinese woman's breasts. <laughs> his shirtless body to me is a bottomless body of somebody else. Get it? It's just as uh, sexual. This okay. is the Schneider verse. The Schneider verse. This is why these guys got into it. Let's hear this. Doesn't hug. Who in the room would you hug? Um. So that's Pete on the left. That's uh, uh, McCone in the back, and that's a uh, fancy in I the white. Say something about McCone right now. I think. Okay. <laughs> now this is interesting. So they're pointing out the guys, and you'll see him soon. But they go, and that's Makoa in the back. No, not Tana Mung. Mon, There's a uh, lot of Makoas. A lot there. of Makoas, but not Makoa from Hawaii. This is Makoa from Bad Friends. Interesting. Listen to what Bobby says here when Santino brings up this Makoa. Listen to this. Uh, McCone in the back, and that's a uh, fancy in I the can white. Say something about McCone right now. I think. <laughs> What's so funny? Who would you hug? I, I <laughs> you know. Okay. So she, yeah, Bobby's got something else going on, and they're all ignoring it. Uh, Bobby A, Lady A. Doesn't know what he's giggling about. Now he's looking at this Makoa. Oh, I know something about Makoa. Well, I wonder what Bobby knows about Makoa that he's going to bring up in front of Bobby. Hug. You wouldn't hug. An interesting yourself. thing about Makoa right now, you know? No, I hug like my family. <laughs> what? What? What's going on? Well, I thought. Remember, Makoa thought he had a shot with Bobby. <laughs> remember when Makoa thought he had a shot with Bobby? This is their producer, one of the guys in the booth. And now Bobby is taking it amongst himself. It's very important. Remember, it's not Santino who said Makoa's got a crush on her. It's Bobby Lee who brings it up, which I believe, I don't know, check your animal kingdom to human dictionary. There's another term for this. When you also, you're into a girl, so now you're going to make fun of one of your friends for actually having a crush on her. This is a move. This is one of those. I don't know yeah. what you title this. This is a move, There's and it's a being name done. For this move by the... Bobby. I'll think. Of it. We got to think of a name I, again. I'm not familiar with this Tate verse terminology or the fresh and fit stuff, but I know there's a term for this. So watch this. What? What's going on? Well, I thought. Remember, McCone thought he had a shot with Bobby. <laughs> oh yeah, get on the mic. You want to say uncomfortable. something? And here's the guy. I don't know if you want to approach this at all, but I know you're. I, I <laughs> yeah, know yeah. You're, you're. He literally thought he had a shot with you. It's so silly. Well, you're Ooh. single. <laughs> Two of those. Was... And now they're going to expose this guy and really put him on the spot here, right in front of Bobby. So now she she knows Bobby Lee has been hitting on her. Now she's aware that there's La a guy La in the Ye booth. Says it's called dirty macking. Dirty mac. Yeah, of course. <laughs> He knows everything. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's one of our Afro listeners, uh, Lala Ye. And of course, it's a, a dirty macking. Hell yeah. So, uh, yeah, I agree with that. Now, um, so now Bobby is sitting. Now, if you're a girl and you're told that this man that you've never met has a crush on you, it's different because now you're going, oh, great. So he's like jacking off to the thought of me nude. <laughs> That's what guys do when they have a crush on a girl. They jack off to images of them in their mind and they think about them. So imagine you're sitting there and now you know that a guy wants to jack off on you, have sex with you, honk your tits. This guy wants to do it all. If a guy has a crush on a girl, it means he wants to honk every part, touch everything, finger everything. And here you are trapped. And now him. you're with a guy and now you know this guy wants to do all that stuff to you because he's had a over two week long crush that they know about. They should have to tell her about that right. beforehand before she steps yeah. into this room. I mean, I would be very uncomfortable. So, but I know you're, I, I <laughs> yeah, know yeah. You're, you're, he literally thought he had a shot with you. It's so silly. Well, you're single now. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. And I don't know if it's sensitive, and I don't want to be rude and disrespectful to that. And I mean, I'm being genuine. Okay. But this, this, this guy, this moron, their intern, this moron, uh -huh. he says to us, he goes, "I think she's, I think she's really pretty." And I said, "Okay, great." And then he said, "I think, I think when I go with you to the thing, maybe I'll try to chatter, chatter up." And I said, "Okay, good luck." Good silly, he, silly man. And then he said, "Silly." What do you mean man. good luck? You think I don't have a chance with her? 
And I said, I said, absolutely not. Absolutely. Well, Bobby said, absolutely not. And I said, do you think you do? And he said, I think maybe she'd like me. No, you started going, I have the gift of gab. Gift of gab. That's what he said. Yeah. yeah. He said, the gift of gab. That's the guy, the middle. And then also he was like very cocky about it. And then when I saw him after it, he's like, nah, I didn't have a chance. Didn't, well, he didn't say one word. Yeah, he didn't say one word. So you want to say yeah. a couple of words now? You're a foolish man. Go ahead. No, step up to the mic and say yeah. what you need to say. Look at this. I thought, now, you know, we're two movers and shakers. So now he's putting this guy on the spot, making him basically, is my shutter okay? Everything okay with that? It looks amazing. Okay. I got his new tattoo last night. So uh, now they're making this guy do his pitch to Bobby, basically asking her out. Let's hear that. Go ahead. Oh, step up to the mic and say yeah. what you need to say. I thought, you know, we're two movers and shakers, young. Oh, industry. my God. You no, no. think that you're even Let him in do this? It. Let him do it. <laughs> Let him do it. You know? Get up like... on the mic so she can see you and say what you need to say. Go ahead. The hair's coming back in. I was bald for a bit, but you know, she feeling, can't even look you in the feel eye. a little more confident again. But no, she's uh, she's intimidating. Can't, can't. <laughs> that's basically. I mean, that's sexual assault. They say, "Oh, she's she's intimidating to me." Okay, okay, I get it. That's yeah. That's your pitch. That's the pitch. That's the pitch. It's so weak. Well, and imagine this window. Wait, look at this. Know, imagine so you're Bobby and you got to look at this window of these three guys. Look at this guy feasting over you. <laughs> well, if he has a crush on her, then maybe I need to start imagining her naked to see what he sees in her. And what about this? Movie? I could understand that, too, based on her body and face. And then you, you're. Yeah, we got to figure out who this guy is because he's also got like a Swedish accent. This guy, it's very troubling. And then this guy, this poor guy, he's really putting it out there. Okay, let's see. That's yeah. That's your pitch. That's the pitch. That's the pitch. It's so weak. Well, you guys said that this one was a latest man. <laughs> I did not. Yeah, say that. they say that, <laughs> not me. Yeah, I don't say that. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. He put the Bobby, do you do? You, is this the kind of guy that you would date in your next round of life? No. No. Exactly. Wow. And why though? Just give me some some reasons. Just come curious. Uh, I feel like this he's is SA. He's yep. well. He he's your same age. I feel like I'm forty. So if you, he's yeah, 40, then yeah. He's not my same age. You're the same age, but go ahead. What else? What is it? What's some other? He has no money. I could. I mean, let me guess. Can I guess? <laughs> I <had> no <laughs> he has absolutely no money. Bird dog and what is this called? Mac. Dirty Mac. Dirty Mac. <laughs> You know, telling him the other guys in the room don't have as much money as me. You don't want to be with them. There's some other. He has no money. I could. I mean, let me guess. Can I guess? I have... <laughs> he has absolutely no money. Is okay. That... Let's yeah. get past that. Yeah. Okay. Beyond the age and the money thing, what else? I feel like those are two pretty big things. But let's add some more for fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. For the sake of the show. I mean, is he attractive he, to you? Does he have a mullet? Did I see one? He has a mullet. He has yeah. a mullet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For now. For now. Okay. Okay. There's another. Is he attractive? Um, and like a kid. <laughs> like, like, oh, look at that mm. kid. So if he calls you mommy, that's okay. That's disgusting. See, Bobby's, well, Bobby's enjoying this, but he's also using this as an opportunity to learn what sh her likes and dislikes are. So that he this could. All down. He's writing this all down. He's using this guy, uh, you know, throwing him at Bobby to see, you know, what shakes out and then using what, you know, what, what worked, what didn't. And maybe he'll, you know, try something. Of his own out. All right. Do we continue here? Or should uh, we go I think so. Okay. I'll, that's... Although, can I say something? Yeah. Last night, because I have a friend visiting me, and this friend of mine, yeah. she goes, you know, I, I know you're going to get mad, but I have to say that I think McCona's cute. And it yeah. literally, last night, I literally lost my mind. Yeah. <laughs> Is this a girl that you're dating? Yes. Oh. I literally lost my yeah, mind. That would gross me out. It grossed me out. So he's not cute, though, at all. I didn't. I, I. I have to have no opinion. Well, look at him right now, real fast. I, okay, you Andrew, you like over there? I don't want to. Can we say? She said no. No means no. Santino, he lies. He keeps going. He she cheats. has to say no like fifty times. So you see how pushy Santino is with a camera on him, and you're going to see this. She said no. I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to rate the guys in the room. I don't want to have a sexual thing with them. Can we just talk about my craft, please? <laughs> Santino says, no, you're a sex object, and no means nothing to Santino. So if this is how he behaves with a camera on him, imagine when he's in that Porsche coupe, the Cayenne, 
and he's hitting that door lock, you know, and the girl's like, okay, well, I had a nice time. Thanks. My house is right the up custom here. Custom lock. The custom lock that cannot be opened from this <laughs> side. You know, imagine how he treats a girl when he's just giving her a ride home, you know, from the set. And my house is right up here. That's enough. Yeah, I don't have to paint the picture there. I think you guys could see what kind of scene. I was just imagining the scene, you know, him sitting in that car and he's he's in control, huh? He wants that blowjob. I think. That's my opinion, of course. I've never heard about him getting any sort of blowjob. I feel like his dick is not where he's something you just want to pull out like that. Not in the light. <laughs> These redheads don't have... They got spotty, weird, carroty, seriously. Carroty, pale, little crooked, little... Crackly. Wires, yeah, with dots. <laughs> Real gross. They got to do all that stuff. Undercover. <laughs> in the cover of night. Bob Marley. We just saw the Bob Marley trailer, so I got a little of that Bob Marley in me today, man. My mind. Yeah, that would gross me out. It grossed me out. So he's not cute, though, at all. I didn't. I, I, she I doesn't want to say. Watch. Well, look at him That's, right now, real fast. Do you I, see anything you like true? over there? I don't want to. Can want we to. set you guys up on a date? No. Please. No. Okay. Pretty, please. <laughs> no. No. Okay, good. That's well, a lot. single, Bobby. I'm... I mean, she said no. He did it five more times, so that's pushy. And now we got an insight to how he acts in that bedroom. All right, do we continue here? Or we um, move... You could go to 3515. 3515. Let's see what's going to happen here. Let me get a little tease. Oh, this. Okay, this is where. This guys, you might think I'm kidding around here. I'm being a little strict. Being like uh, some dirty ass, asshole principal. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is going to open. Okay. This is going to. We just had Dan Schneider for what he's about to do. If you're going to sit there and watch these Dan Schneider documentaries and say what you've said about Schneider, you got to say it about Santino because what he does, he's almost got the same fucking hairdo as Dan Schneider. You mean Lee? Huh? Dan Lee? Yeah. Could, okay. No, you said <laughs> Santino. Oh, Bobby Lee has the same haircut as Dan Schneider. Bobby Lee's the Schneider in this. <laughs> Bobby Lee is pulling a Dan Snyder on Bobby A, Lady A, and here it is. Zoroastrianism. You know what that is? Like oh, one of the original... Okay. Nothing. All right, so he has to be... Over this is the smoking gun. Yes. Ask her about color. What color? What is wrong with you guys? Just, what color? What color? You guys, I'm done. What about Asian? Are you uh, okay with Asian men? How many are over six feet? Listen to this. How Hold many o- Asian? Uh, you know what, dude? I, you know, honestly, not much, but anyway. It's actually true. That's true. Interesting. I would love to see your feet. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> you want to hear that again? <laughs> Listen to this out of nowhere. Not much, but anyway. It's actually true. That's true. Interesting. I would love to see your feet. Thank you. I would love to see your feet. Uh, Lock them up. Why would you say that out of nowhere? Now, Dan Snyder proved to America, feet equal molestation. Uh, Otherwise, I mean, that's all Dan Snyder did. He foot (laughs) fetish. And by the way, a foot fetish is up there with every fetish of your nightmare. Uh, You know, fetish is a fetish. To me, fetish. And I learned about this very early on. HBO's Real Sex 22. I learned about all the dark, disgusting S&M fetish, this bondage world from that show. There's not a fetish out there that's clean. Okay, these fetishes are dark, <laughs> twisted, perverse. Uh, there's no. I, I know we're living this time where some people think, oh yeah, I've got this foot fetish. No, no, no. no. Th- that needs to be kept fully private because that's me like me saying i've got this two boobs fetish any body part fetish is a sex crime get it so can i see your feet i want to see your feet and he's going to expand on this live on camera you know we've let the world think this feet thing is innocent if it's innocent then why isn't dan schneider innocent all he did was foot stuff so (laughs) he's doing it right now Okay, let's make a Nickelodeon style doc on Bobby Lee. Watch this. It's actually true. That's true. Interesting. I would love to see your feet. 
Thank you. Germany crickets. Germany crickets. I fucked up. Why would you say that out loud? I was looking at our boots right now. I go I like the boots, but I'm like, what's underneath it? And I go, <gasps> probably nice feet. What the? F That's what? like saying you probably got a nice vagina. I'd love to see what's underneath all of your clothes and inside of the holes with scopes. It's just as sick and twisted as saying that. <laughs> Jelly Roll wouldn't do this. Never. He's Jelly Roll. He treats women great. Yes. Well, he he does. From what I know, he used to treat them pretty fucking twisted. If you make a girl have sex with you and you're the size of Jelly Roll, that's a, a rape. Okay, so he wants to see what's under her boots. Even Santino knows this is a bit too I far. I want to see what's under your boots. I want to see what's under your boots. A... They look like such pretty toes. And she's 26, a little tiny kid. She looks like she's 16. Uh, she looks like a wood elf. A wood elf is a kid. There's no old wood elves. <laughs> wood elves are all underage. So what's going on here? Is this the new lolly? Is this the new uh, Vosh? Bosch Lee, they're calling him. <laughs> is this the new uh, cutie Cinderella AI nudes? You know, how big is this story going to get? I am not open to any interviews from the Times or from uh, Credit, the new uh, webzine Credit, which gives credit to people like me for busting this open. I'm not doing any interviews about this. What you see is what you get. And this is, if any of this is wrong, it falls under parody. But this is what I've seen. This is me as a viewer, and it's case closed. This isn't AI tape. This isn't, uh, you know, goofed up tape here. He's saying it right here like this. That's it. Not much, but anyway. It's actually true. That's true. Interesting. I would love to see your feet. Thank you. Jiminy Crickets. Jiminy Crickets, I fucked up. Why would you say that? Oh, that's I was looking too. at our boots right now. I go, I like the boots, but I'm like, what's underneath it? And I go, probably nice feet. You're not saying that in a gross way, are you, bud? Not in a sexual, no. All right. I don't find her sexually attractive. How oh, are your feet? An egg. <laughs> Why? What size shoe do you wear? Yeah, that this sucks. is nasty. A six? Yeah. Yeah. Tiny. I bet you have long toes. Mm. <laughs> are they long toes? Do you paint them? Bobby Long Toes. Yeah. Do you Look paint at them? toes? Do you see that little move he's doing? He's biting his lip. I do that when I'm all hot. Paint well, them? Bobby Long Toes. Yeah. Look at this. Imagine this. And this is how we looked at those girls in that Tijuana. This is the fit. I guarantee if you say, hey, you got a sketch artist interview those two Tijuana girls. This is the sketch that, that would come up. This is the man. You're biting your lip and your fingers thinking about her little toes. It's disgusting. By the way, the foot fetish thing is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Um, I, I hate that I compared it to a boob fetish, which is clean. Foot fetish is gross. It means you you got knocked on the head with something early on and you landed by your mom's disgusting feet and you be, you became what you are today. So look at that. He's, uh, what do they call this in the wild? You know, when you're getting all, I've seen them do this. Okay, watch. Do you paint wow. your nose? I don't paint them myself, no. But you get, I bet you get gels? Yeah, like like you remember. I know, yeah. I do remember, dude. That day, I'll never forget. Oh. Oh oh oh. I forgot. Hmm. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Whoa. <laughs> do you get like a little limp between your toes, or? Will what? you save some and send it to him? <laughs> what kind of questions no, are this for a tiny just, little this girl? Is weird. This is what you do. It's and weird. she's not kidding when she says this is weird. Can I leave? She's being real because she's got a million fans of her own watching this, and they're going to have some questions. So she's got to let them know, too. You know, this is weird. Listen to what she says here. Save someone, send it to him? No, it's just, this is weird. This is what you do to me when I'm going to leave here and tell people you're so what? weird. <laughs> I'm going to leave here and tell people you were so weird. Don't worry, Bobby. It's on the arm. I Everyone we'll tell everyone. <laughs> because she's not going to speak out. Because, you know, then it's going to what? What good does that? She's probably terrified. I mean, Bobby Lee is a very scary guy. Up until a few weeks ago, I was terrified of Bobby Lee, mostly. <laughs> Listen to this. When I'm going to leave here and tell people you're so what? weird. 
You're going to say Bobby was weird? That's so yeah. fucking, it's so re crazy because it's like, why can't you ask these questions? You can. Yeah, I'm curious about your feet. Mm. I'm sure they're lovely. Mm. And I'm curious to see the condition they're in. That's all. I mean, Pete, am I wrong? No, not at all. Exactly. Do you have a foot fetish? I might have one. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> he admits to this fetish. 52, 26. Like these games I've been betting on, I've been losing all this money from DraftKings. They've wiped my account almost to nothing. You know, and it because now I started getting a little cocky. I'm betting on all the action there. Anything on that homepage, I'm just whatever they suggest, I'm betting on. I haven't won one bet since that Super Bowl. Stay away from these betting sites because it's got us in a lot of troubles to like steel toe levels of trouble here with the finances. Pete, am I wrong? No, not at all. Exactly. Do you have a foot fetish? I might have one. Yeah, because I've been showing people mine. Yeah, well, you, that's not okay, that, that, that's sexual assault. If you can come to feet, showing your feet to someone is the same as showing your boob or penis or dick. Same thing. Now he's going to show his feet. That would be like if I went, see anything you like, ladies, and showed my tits, <laughs> which are desired by this audience as a sex part. Nobody on this show has seen my nips or what's under here. And if you did, it'd be a porn. Okay, so he's going to take off his foot, which it gets him hot. That's, uh, what do you call that? That's uh, hedonism. That is, uh, what do you call that? Um, where you get off on others. Oh, you know, we can't ignore this any longer. Of course, the nine pill challenge, more of a just... Sit back and cut the cameras away from me because I am humiliated. Just humiliated that I got to take this stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect nine. Grabbed again. And you could cut away from me while I do this. I don't like people watching me do this. Well, oh. Okay. Thank you for allowing me to exist. I'm like... Palestinians who have been targeting me and my family this week for some confusion made on the last show. Okay, this is seven, eight. This is me every day. Every five hours, this is me. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve a.m. And that's at the top, which I still disagree with. It's way at the top. Alarm on. We're good. Thank you for allowing me to take care of myself. Okay, uh, he's about to show the feet. Let's check this out. You know what I mean? And I think mine are so nice. Look. Oh, mm. He exposed himself. You like what you see? I don't want to see. You <laughs> like don't what you see. see? I don't want to see. And she's turning away and she wants to leave because she does leave very soon. <laughs> Do you um you drink or use drugs? I are you the leading are you asking me that for? Okay, Maybe. Is there any more to that? Um, Here? You can go to 3747. 3747. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oh, this is bad. I don't know how he's going to defend this one. Listen to Bobby here. Did you go to church every Sunday? Yes. What church? Can we say that? The religion? No. Oh, what kind of religion? Oh, yeah, what kind of religion? Christian. Well, oh, well what let's, let's get into Jesus. Catholic? No. Just just broad Christian? Like me. Like, the church was called was Christian called? Church? Non-denominational? Yeah. Yeah. That's a cult. You know what, is dude? It? Shut the fuck up. That's dude. enough. Enough about you. It is a little bit though, Her but in a good way. I can see you at a pew on what? your hands and knees. What? I can see you at a pew on your hands and knees. <laughs> but in a good way. I can see you at a pew what? on your hands and knees. What? On your what? hands and knees. <laughs> it, which is, if I saw that Bobby at love on her hands and knees, I mean, that's sexual. All right, what's the next code here? Uh, 3910. 3910. I think we've proven our little uh, case here. It's wrapping right? up soon. Wrapping up here. What do we got here? This is, oh, he's going to do, and we've seen Bill Maher do this. I know I copy some of Bill Maher's stuff. I'm cutting the, uh, when I smoke my little things, I'm cutting them here. I do a lot of, I eat Baruka nuts, and I read the entertainment rags. But I don't do this one. And you're going to see Bobby Lee do something that Bill Maher 
is king of, which is called The Approach. You know, if there is a girl, I never get out of my seat. I start walking towards them. No. Okay, so after all this stuff, after everything Bobby's admitted to Bobby A, little A, Lady A, um, he's going to get up and start walking towards her. This is a, we've seen Bill Maher do this. This is scary to the girl. Watch this. It's, and approaches. that confuses you. That's right. But that's the yin and yang of me. I'm texting Luke. Here's the approach. Oh, don't t- don't text Luke. Who's Luke? My manager. Her manager. She's Why, literally Luke? texting your manager now. She, again, we're living in half bit town here, right? But she's really texting her manager saying, okay, can you get me off this podcast? It's getting weird. She's really doing it. Santino knows that it's really happening. Santino knows that this is a little awkward. He just did the podcast with Bobby. He knows what she's like when she's playing Glassman. He knows this isn't the same. He knows she's really texting the manager now. And does he have to clean this up for Bobby like he's done? You know, haven't you seen these Vegas movies where they kill the escort and they got to bury her? Can't you see him involved in something like that? God forbid. (laughs) You like this new addition of my personality? When I say something like that, I go, God forbid. (laughs) To show that I'm still Jewish at heart. God forbid. Okay, so let's see what happens here. He's going to approach. Approach. Watch this. Like, I cut this out? Yeah. No, please. I, no, we'll, we'll, no, oh, no, no. Oh, he wants to go towards her. He's up. Bobby, 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 Bobby. Bobby. And Look at him. Bobby. he gets yeah. on his hands and knees right in front of her junk. This is right between her legs. Look, he wants to crawl over to her. He's doing this whole BDSM nonsense. He's going for the feet. So he wants to crawl over to her. He wants to go to the feet. He wants to climb the feet into the snatch. Into the tits, probably. All the way up to the mouth. Heaven. So is this behavior? Now we got to look at the bad friend set. Jesus Christ. This is just in a little tiny office. They got a floor of it, uh, offices. There's one little office for some jerk. Carpet this looks is what they're dirty. In. So you've got now, this is an, by the way, the offices that they podcast out of. This office room would be like if you had an office at a $7 an hour call center, right? If you had the office at the place where, uh, Who's our new guy, our call center Patrick guy. J. Pespis. Patrick J. Pespis works. They elect, these millionaires elect to work in an office of a guy who makes 20 grand a year as their office. That's bizarre. Shouldn't you have a corner office, like a office you'd see in suits? If you're going to work out of an office, you're millionaires in a $20,000 a year man's office. <laughs> like super successful for them they get so a million uh, they're plus getting views on every episode over a million views it and make it amazing why here? not have a badass studio they don't want to spend a dime that it's would crazy. cut into those earnings so here he is he's on his hands and knees creeping towards those toes Bobby. <laughs> thank you so much for being here very good Say look at how pathetic I mean, this is crazy <laughs> 52 years old I'm kidding. get up <laughs> Any other questions? Well, this was nice. I love you so much. I really- what the? <laughs> Miss! Sir! Get me the manager. Now! You should see me at a hotel. I threatened to hit that woman over the head with this. That's why they've taken these bells away at most places. Uh, I love you, he blurts out. He is in love with, if you like that word elf, is a dead giveaway. Because these guys grew up loving that elf their whole damn life. <laughs> really? This is what happens. I hear them say it on other shows. They'll be like, oh, Tinkerbell. Oh, she's so hot. Right, dog? Tinkerbell. Oh. Well, if you like Tinkerbell, you're going to like her. <laughs> Watch this. And I don't like any of these elves. Well, this was nice. I love you so much. I really do. I care Thank about you. I care okay. about you. And I, Watch what he end, does here to clean this up let's because ha- he's, let's ha- let's do he's worried. A, I, I know what we're going to do. Thread it. All right? Because I feel like we're in a hole. Okay? Who's Not we. 
No, nope, nope, you're I'm in humming. it too, I'm, Santana. I'm too. Okay, you're good. Like a bird. Yeah. Right, so what I want to say is let's go down the line. Not a song, don't worry, right? But we express how we really feel about each other before we go. Okay, that's good. And sure! And only positives, no <laughs> negatives. Okay. Right? Should I start? <laughs> this is your bit. It's not a bit, dude. This is your... It's an exercise. This is your exercise. Okay. Here we it's go. It's like a gratitude list. Can you look at me? Okay. So, Bobby, here's how I feel about you. Okay? I'm this is honored happening live on Red with you. I am. When I... I really am. When I did your, I was so grateful that you asked me to do it because you're hot and the kind of, no, like in terms of the number. <laughs> I'm going to break my dang hand and it's already broken in three <laughs> spots here from this fight that I got in with the tattoo shop over this horrible, they let, and don't let a guy come in drunk to get a tattoo because it's all screwed up now. Um... What did he just say? It was something really You're crazy. Hot. You're hot. You're hot. And now all of Red Bar knows about this. That's a big net. Because of me. Thank God I looked into this episode. And all of your fans are probably tuning in today because of the Whitney thing. Yeah. <laughs> and thank God we got that clip that you asked Whitney to delete. You owe me a big explanation on all this. That was our big this. ad. That was my big ad. That might, that would be like if I deleted your appearances on Rogan, which you need to move seats. <laughs> okay, watch this. So grateful that you asked me to do it because you're hot and the kind of no, like in terms of the numbers, <laughs> like you're you're hot out there, not in the fit, like an attractive way. You know, I mean you're attractive, but I know I feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> With these three like staring at you? In sadness. All the way to China, this one's going. <laughs> I, I, I know. Let me start over, all right? I was really grateful that you had asked me. I thought we worked well, well together. It got really good traction. It helped me out a lot. Um, I also, um, I just think that you're like a anomaly, a very talented person. And I think that in this time of age, we just need somebody like you out there. I think you're so important. He needs important. And I important. just... Oh, um, oh I think so I'm on the same scale as this Bobby Outlaw. I knew it. I knew it. So he says he, to her, she's very important. He said that about me last week. I'm beginning to think this is just a line. He no, I'm... on everybody. No, he loves her, remember? <laughs> this is a line he uses on people he... L wants to have sex with. Oh my God. So I'm up there with a girl that he's willing to throw away his whole career on Red Bar over. So this importance line, you don't hear him throwing this around except to me and Bobby A, Lady A, and she is important. She interviewed Drake, and that video has been taken off her page with still nobody knows why. And she divorced her husband. And there was a rumor she was thrown out of a Drake after party just a few nights ago. I don't have the answers to any of these rumors. If you could help me out, anyone know her? We just need somebody like you out there. I think you're so important. And I just, um, I think that you're a good mom. Thank you. And I think I want to see your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> that's it. That's good. I think you're a good mom. And then he does his sexual. Hold on, I got to put my puffer in its charger. And I want to see your feet. Do you hear that? <laughs> pathetically oozing into a puddle of sex. Thank you. And I think I want to see your feet. <laughs> That's it. That's good, right? <laughs> is that good? You, you're taller than you. Okay. I go to you now. And then I think the last code here is she leaves. What time is it at now? We're at 4146. You can just keep, keep playing, playing here. Okay. okay. Yeah, you're my best. Watch this. Now, what happens here? And, I uh, can't figure this out. But okay. Let's. Figure it out together. Yeah, let's see what happens here. So this is uh, right before she leaves. Um, you're the best. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. And we're going to Austin mm -hmm. tomorrow together. Tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. And I just like working with you, and I trust you immensely. God bless. And I love you so much. Go ahead. Now your turn. Okay. Bobby? Mm-hmm. Be real, dude. Be authentic. Bobby... <laughs> I gotta, Here we go. You know, 
It's By not. the way, this isn't eight hours into a drunken escapade <laughs> like Red Bar. This is 40 minutes into their show. Two of the most top paid comedians in this country uh, on one of the biggest podcasts in this country. And this is what you get after 40 minutes. Two tapped out guys that can't think left or right. Here we go. You know. <laughs> it's happening. I'm letting, oh, you could, no, because you're feeling it. And that's what I love. It's about organic. It. It's so organic. I'm letting, I'm letting it rip. Bobby. What's going on here? Will you, can you, you know what? Go in the front room just so I can have like a moment in this. Have a cigarette. He smoked. I really want this to be, I want, I want it to count. So now she's I'm alone sorry, with I Santino. Do this. I'm sorry. I know you said you didn't want to do it. So he's playing good cop here. He's not the good cop. He's very corrupt police officer. He said this is going to be a waste of your time and you don't like Bobby and he makes you uncomfortable and you said it over and over and I'm sorry. Okay. Do you accept my apology? No. Okay. So that's a wrap. How do we get out of here? McCone will help you out. That's okay. Yeah. Can I do it? <laughs> Morgan, Look at that. Morgan. Morgan. And that's it. That's a wrap. I'm going to get out of here and she leaves. Bobby Lee. Big, big, big trouble in fatso little China. <laughs> so there you go. Movie reference. Today we'll take a break. When Wait, we c- you should read the comments on this post because oh, this was okay. crazy too. So yeah, nobody- well, yeah, I think that's why I wanted to end too. I wanted to say everybody watching this show is mad at Lady A, Bobby A. They don't happen to see anything uh, like we saw today. They don't. Nobody in the comments saw any of this. What we saw. So let's go to those top comments here. Um, here's the top comment. She's like that friend who thinks she's hot. But everyone can't wait for her to leave. It's a bunch of... Look at this. Um, this girl grew up watching Aubrey Plaza and was like, I'm going to steal her whole vibe, but leave out the funny parts. 472 upvotes. The fact that she has a manager is laughable. This is what the guys... Nobody's saying, oh, why was 52-year-old Bobby uh, Nobody said craving that her? Why were they doing this? The most annoying thing about this episode is that Lee and Santino were treating her like she was more famous than them. Um, if white wonder bread was a person, Bobby Outloff's most remarkable talent lies in her capacity to bring together individuals from diverse backgrounds worldwide. Oh, fostering a shared sentiment of disdain towards her. Okay. Bobby Outloff is just mad she's the second prettiest bo- Okay, that's a joke comment. But yeah, they go on and on. And there was like a they million threads I linked to one of them if you want, but they yeah. hated this episode and thought it was because of her. They all blamed uh, her for the episode being bad. You gotta blame horny Bobby Lee. His sexcapade days, they are not behind him. And I would say, yeah, he's got to go to a sex class like Chris D'Elia, and it's time for a medication change because he is out there and he's doing it. And if he's doing that on camera, what's he doing when the camera (laughs) cameras are off? Okay, we'll take a break. When we come back, the poor Osho's taste test. Crank that shit up. We'll see you soon with poor Osho's. When we come back. <laughs>